Hey Hooper, it's Deanne Love here and today is day five of our seven day hoop workout. I bet you're rocking it and today we are going to have a ton of fun because it's hula hoop aerobics. So you know how it goes, this is going to be all on body so grab yourself a hoop, an adult size hoop that you love to dance with on your body. And then we have seven different moves that we're going to rock each one of them for one minute. It's going to be high intensity so make sure that you're nice and hydrated and you're ready to go. So let's twist that torso, we are going to start with our feet a little bit wider than hip distance and let those arms swing out, pulsing in the core that we're twisting into our obliques. Now you don't need to overextend with your rotation, but you're going to feel quite a massage, so we're twisting from side to side. If you want to get a little bit high intensity, you can take your elbows up by your shoulders, but be mindful, understand your body and how it wants to move. It's not about how far you're twisting, it's about the activation that you're bringing to your body. Now this, even just a little twist, can be quite the challenge, so see what feels good for you. Let those arms swing or keep them high. I really like to feel the hoop roll over all of the 360 points of my body. Now this is hoop aerobics, so you need to get your 80s on. It's all on the inside, even if you're not wearing fluoro and leg warmers with massive hair, we're still gonna go for this knee to elbow. Now obviously, you have a hoop that you need to keep working, so you're not gonna lose that posture and that stance. And you can't really touch the elbow to the knee, but you sure can try. Get nice and close, we're gonna crunch in bringing one elbow down and the opposite knee up to almost meet it. Let's go. So this requires not only crazy strength, coordination, balance. And your balance in hooping is going to come from your core. Keep pulsing, bring it in, knee up, elbow down. I totally feel like I should be wearing Reeboks right now. <laughs> we can do it. Okay, we're gonna do a break and pose after a bit of waist hooping. So I'm really calling in like Lionel Richie or Gloria Estefan or someone really cool because I want you to get your groove on. So we're rocking out, making movement in the body. And three, two, one, stop and pose. Okay, let's go back. Rocking out in the body, moving it, grooving it, keeping the pulse in the ready. Three, two, one, and pose. <laughs> Look. I said it was a loop aerobics. We're gonna go a little crazy today, if that's okay. So three, two, one, ready, and pose. Whoop. And let's keep on keeping on. We got 20 seconds left. We can do it. I'm here in the rhythm of the night, but I'm not gonna sing it. It's okay. <laughs> let's go, let's go, let's go. One more pose. We can do it. Pulse it, pulse it, pulse it, yeah. And pose. Back to it. Now, it wouldn't be an aerobic session without the march, so <laughs> let's get to it. We're going to keep the pulse in the belly, and I want you to take those knees as high as you can go. We're going to go for a little march. Now, don't forget the arms. We're going to pulse those forwards and back, and breathe. <laughs> I'm getting all these crazy aerobic visions in my head. I can totally see your outfit. It's amazing. So, <laughs> let's just keep pulsing. We're halfway there already. So if this is easy for you, I want you to really amp up the energy in your core. You know, pick up the pace with your feet. Let those arms do the work. I can feel the circulation in my belly. It's such a good thing. <laughs> Let's keep going. 10 seconds. Work it. March it out. <laughs> We are going for the cha-cha with a toe tap to the opposite side. So when the hoop's spinning to the left, you catch it with your left hand and tap the right foot out, and then vice versa. If you really want to work it, you're going to take the other arm out in front. Now it's totally up to you how many spins you'd like to do in the middle. You're going to feel into that, reaching out with the toe and with the front hand. Now you could always reach up. <laughs> No rules, wherever you're at, let's go for it. We're halfway there. I kind of love this. 
Fit for Rubik's, I really should have worn a different costume. <laughs> All right, keep the core strong. Shoulders back and down. Relax through the neck. We got this. <laughs> Woo! Heart rate up. You have to love it. Let's go for a little side tap with the toes. We're gonna to point to it. out to the side and then in. And out to the other side and in. You can totally rock this out. Fast or slow. If you really need to keep concentration and balance in your center, then take it really slow. Out and in. And out and in. If you've got the jams pumping, then you can work it to the beat. Press out and in. And out and in. Or faster, let's go. <laughs> We've only got 20 seconds left, so work it pulsing forwards and backwards with the body, but side to side. With the toes, find your balance and your strength and your center. It's easy and fun. Come on. <laughs> now, of course, it would not be hip aerobics without the grapevine. So pulsing in the core, and we're going to step to the side, back, side, together. Side, back, side, together. Call me cheesy. This is going to make you a powerful hoop dancer. If you're just stuck in the same spot all the time, then you won't know how to travel with your hoop. So if it's the grapevine or something else, I want you to get off your spot and move it. Take it to the side while you're pulsing forwards and backwards. Side, back, side, together. Reach. If you're feeling really courageous, when you get to the side of your grapevine, you can do a little hop and feel the activation that you need in your core to keep it going. <laughs> Woo! Nice job, Hooper. Hoop aerobics, who would have thought? You're a pro. So let's have a stretch, you totally deserve it. So we're gonna pop one heel out, keeping the knees in alignment and sliding the hoop down towards the toes. Now you want to take it to wherever feels good for you. If you can go all the way to the toe and reach with a nice soft belly and a long flat back, then that's great. But if your knee is where you're at, then that is also amazing. So we're just going to find the spot that gives us a nice deep stretch through the back of the leg and putting no pressure on the back. Nice and relaxed there. Oh, a few deep breaths and then drawing the hip up and going for the second heel. Again, keeping the inner thighs fairly close together and the belly soft and the back nice and flat. Take the hoop down, reaching forward. Feeling the stretch through the back of the leg here. And when ready, drawing the hoop back up and coming back to center. Just resting the hoop against your body, you're going to drop one arm down with the palm towards the floor and taking the head over to the opposite side so that you can get a nice long stretch through the side of the neck. Sometimes we're working so hard to engage our core and keep our hoop pulsing that we forget to release in our neck and our shoulders and we really don't want to carry tension there. So finding little moments in your day when you can release through your neck and your shoulders and simply breathe, stop and relax. Coming back to the center and the opposite hand pushes away and drop the head, just dropping, not forcing, just releasing to the opposite side. And then coming to the center, you're gonna breathe in and up, raising the line of sight to the sky and relax out and down and one more time breathe in and up and out and down was that total fun or what you can tell me was that your favorite the hoop aerobics day five totally feeling alive i'm loving it but wait day six and day seven are coming up so don't miss out 
If you did happen to miss out though on any of the seven day workouts, you can head on over to hooplovers.tv because I have a list of all of the moves that we do each day. You can also check the links down below or subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you never miss out on a free hoop workout or tutorial ever again.